I actually had a very close friend that I met at CTY who started a e-greetings card company, which at the time was a new thing. Um, and it was really eye-opening to me because I come from an immigrant family where everyone wanted to be a doctor or a lawyer. And uh, he was telling me about how he had millions of people sending e-greetings cards to each other. And he was the same age as me. So um, it was actually from that experience after CTY that I started um, an online gaming group that turned into my first startup. Given my own background, um, both in technology, I spent almost seven or eight years at Google and uh, tr trained as a physician, I thought it was time for me to try to tackle that head on. Uh, which is why I started Ansible Health, which is um, dealing with those two issues together. Uh, how do you use tech to really take care of patients directly in their home? I was a programmer in this finance firm who is also an investor in my current company 20, more than 20 years later. Um, so everything goes full circle. Uh, I think it's super important to find people who you look up to, and many of them are shockingly open to helping you, uh, especially if they see themselves in you. It was a period of a month and a half where my email service just stopped working entirely. And uh, given that I am a super perfectionist, I was super scared initially of all the important messages that I would miss. Um, but after around two weeks when I still couldn't fix it, it was also super, frankly, relieving to know that when I go home, there will be zero new emails in my mailbox. Um, and the reason why I liked that story was it was one of the few life lessons that I learned that the world will keep moving. Like even if I can't get to every message, it just, it will be fine. One is frankly, when you're younger, there's relatively little risk. Uh, you don't have to worry about, you don't have any incomes to feed your kids or pets or car payments. Those things are not real at all. Um, on the other hand, the actual lessons are the same. Right? How do you figure out whether your product actually works and how do you figure out if the product actually serves customers? So the earlier you do it, the better. Sounds weird, but I was a big competitive math person um, when I was in high school. And I know many people joke about the fact that when you grow up, you'll never use any of that math again. Uh, but I actually use a lot of the math even today in board meetings.